I have my, my uh, performance data in my historian. I can trend that, I can set thresholds on those performance parameters. Unfortunately, you end up either setting them too narrow, in which case you get a lot of alerts, a lot of alarms, or you set them too wide and the value of the alert is starting to be eroded. We reverse that. We use engineering knowledge and insight to design a failure signature within all the different strands of data that might be coming from the assets. And then we know as engineers that a little bit of shift here and a little bit of shift here and a little wobble on the vibration. Individually, none of those make any sense at all. When you put them together and you knew it was what you were looking for, you can get that really confident early diagnosis. But unless we change the way that we collaborate with, between us as a service provider and the operators of the equipment, this approach doesn't work. <coughs> By lovely coincidence, OSI started talking to us about Cloud Connect, uh, which is essentially aiming to do exactly this thing. So through the publish subscribe mechanism, I can see exactly what's going on in the plant within the, the bounds that I'm allowed to see. I can add value to that data by applying my methods and techniques. I can derive new information like the model residuals, notifications, all kinds of, of added value stuff. I can share that back seamlessly, back into the operator's Pi system. And essentially the two teams are working on one data set. Ultimately, we're trying to control revenue cost and safety in a challenging business environment. We can't do that really until we become a risk-based business. We can't turn into a risk-based business unless we have a confident prognosis of what's going to happen in our business. I can't have a confident prognosis unless I have advanced analytics. I can't have advanced analytics unless I collaborate. And I can't collaborate unless I share data. So the staircase takes me all the way back into Cloud Connect. <laughs>